ladies, if you have your Bibles or if you're using a Bible app, we are going to be in the book of Luke, looking at Luke chapter 10, very end of the chapter. We're going to be looking at verses 38 through 42. In my particular translation, I have subtitles across the tops of certain sections. Well, in this particular section, the subtitle says, at the home of Martha and Mary. Okay, so I know what some of you are thinking. Really, another lesson about Martha and Mary, but please just stick with me through this one, all right? If you're not familiar with the story, here it is in a nutshell. Jesus and his disciples were walking through town when they decided to stop and eat at the home of Martha and her sister Mary. Martha's busy working on the dinner preparations. Meanwhile, Mary just wants to hang out with Jesus. Well, that kind of upset Martha. And so basically she goes and tattles on her sister to Jesus. Jesus, of course, he praises Mary for the right choice that she made. He gently corrects Martha, end of story. Well, the other day I was reading through Luke chapter 10 and I came across this story. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I was rushed for time. And when I saw the subtitle, I thought what many of you may have thought already. And then I came across verse 40. And it was like I was reading this verse for the very first time. I didn't even remember these words being in here. Luke chapter 10, verse 40. Here's what it says. But Martha was distracted. And that word distracted just jumped off the page at me. I could feel the stirring of the Holy Spirit within me. It was like Jesus himself was saying, Kayla, you're distracted. And I thought to myself, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I am. But Jesus, do you have any idea what my schedule looks like for today? I mean, it is insane. I have a million things that I need to be doing right now. To which he replied to me, and I kid you not, look it up in your Bible, verse 41. Here's what Jesus answered. He said, you're worried about many things, but there is only one thing worth being concerned about. You see, that was Martha's problem. She had fixed her eyes on all the other stuff going on around her first and Jesus second. Jesus can never be second. The moment you do that, all the other stuff around you will consume you. And Jesus is saying to us, he's telling us, hey, hey, me first. I'll take care of everything else. Me first. Do you sometimes find yourself in that same place? Worried about many things? Distracted? There's only one thing worth being concerned about. Can't you just feel Jesus asking us to set down our distractions for just a moment and just sit at his feet. He'll take care of everything else. Him first. Ladies, it's going to be an awesome six weeks together. Let's put him first.